Hello and welcome to Sue Finley Designs. For this project I want to give you some ideas for what you can do with your leftover resin. Now this one I've used moulds for um, pendants. Now you can use any kind of moulds that you want and you don't necessarily have to do this design or anything like that. It's just purely to give you ideas. For this I used India ink and watercolour paint to tint the resin. Now the idea is I wanted the resin to still be very translucent so the ink in the paint was actually added after the clear resin was added to the moulds and as you can see they're very very effective so if I zoom in here you can see that it's although it's tinted the resin it's still um, quite effective is seeing the clear and the thickness of the resin there. So yeah, so it's quite a simple um, way of using your leftover resin. Now you can obviously add glitter to this or any beads or uh, embellishments that you have that will fit in your moulds. So the possibilities are endless for your, for your leftover resin, especially as when you've got leftover resin you've never quite got enough to make another project and you don't really necessarily want to mix more for a new project so this is a perfect way to use your leftover resin so without further ado let's get into how I tinted these resin pendants okay so I've bought some moulds off amazon.com.au uh, you can no doubt get these moulds on the Amazon in your local area um, and they're really inexpensive but they're ideal for leftover resin so all I've done here is I've just filled each of the compartments with some clear resin that I had left over and I poured some India ink and watercolour um, paint onto the palette there and just using a cocktail stick I'm now just adding some small amounts of colour to the bottom of the resin and using the stick to move it around. Now apologies for my hand being in the way. I do move position to the other side with me being right handed so that you get a better view on what I'm doing. So like I say apologies for that but you still get a general idea on what's happening. And I discovered while doing this as well that if you put a little bit of resin on the tip of the cocktail stick first before dipping it in the ink or the watercolour it actually um, you get more of the ink on the end of the stick so it it moves and fills the area a lot easier and I've just mixed uh, poured a mixture of different colours um, nothing in particular just literally just getting it, dragging it, swilling it about and that's basically it, there's not much to this one so it's a great way to colour some resin but still have the translucent look so that you get a bit of light shine through but you can also see the, the thickness of the clear resin. So as you can see there's not much to this at all and I hope that it's given you some ideas. You could also in these clear res resin pieces you could actually put in some glitter and some accent pieces from anything that you've got in your stash. So there's, there's quite a few things that you can do with this is just using your own imagination. And then you've got some pendants ready to go. Um, to match any outfits or even sell them. Um, I've seen that there's quite a few people sell these things on Etsy. So, yeah, so it's time for you to get creative and think of different ways to use your leftover resin. I hope you enjoyed this video and let's give you some ideas. Um, pop over to my channel and see some other uh, resin things that I've got going on. So until next time, goodbye.